one of the coils of Ka the Snake. My name is Madeline and I played Jungle Thistle. Hi, I'm Teddy and I played Silly Monkey in the play. Hi, my name is Allison and I played Ziggy Vulture. Hi, I'm Nati, I played Grumpy Monkey in the play. Hi, I'm Josie and I played Mowgli in the show. Hi, I'm Avery and I played Bagheera the Panther in the play. Hi, I'm Addie and I played Jungle Lotus. Hi, I'm Maggie and I was the head of Ka the Snake. Hi, I'm Ricardo and I played Shere Khan in the play. Hi, my name is Marcelo and I played Old Monkey. Hi, I'm Maggie and I'm Ainsley. I played Backstage Crew and Technical Theater in the performance. Allison, what would you do the same in your next performance you participate in? Well, one thing that I really liked is that um, before we started the show, we would do a, bunch, a few activities to like control our energy. And so we did this thing called Pass the Pulse where everybody held hands and our teacher, Miss Jackson, would squeeze the person next to her's hand and then the pulse would go all the way around so that when, um, when you feel the squeeze, you squeeze the next person's hand and it would go all the way around until um, Miss Jackson got again. And so it's really nice, it's really calming. What would you do differently? Well, if I ran my own drama club, um, then I, I might want to know what the kids would, um, would want to be during the performance. And so, so I would probably let them to, um, let them, or ask them what they would want to be in the performance. So, Nazi, what was one thing you learned in the, in the show? Well, one thing that I learned was to always trust the people who are around you um, because if you don't trust them, then you can't really, you have to trust them so you know like when they're coming, you trust that they know when they're coming and they know when you're gonna do things, they know when to pass stuff to you. So you really have to trust people or else it wouldn't work out. Um, Ainsley, name one memory that will stick with you forever. It was probably when me and Maggie and Ara and Gavin were the backstage crew. We stepped into the gym for the first time to watch the first um, rehearsal, and it was really magical how it came all together, and it was awesome to see. My favorite part of the show was when Shere Khan was counting, because everybody's um, face in the audience was really excited and to see what was happening next. And when it did happen, all everybody's face in the audience was so excited to see what happened. You have spirit for once so small. I'm going to close my eyes and count to ten. It makes the cheese more interesting for me. One, two. Blue! Shh. Oh, Blue, what should I do? Come on, everybody. If we put our heads together, we can stand up to Shere Khan and keep Mowgli here in the jungle. My favorite line is when everyone said, you may belong in the man village, but you always have a home in the jungle. This is my favorite line because it made me feel like everyone was welcome in the show. Hey, Nazi. Yeah? What kind of witch do you find at the beach? I don't know. A sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and Mowgli? Yes? You may belong in the man village. But you always have a home in the jungle. One frightening moment was in the middle of a show, I was the sun, so I had to carry a sun across the stage. What happened was there, the sun was attached to a string, and so I had to hook it on a hook, and then suddenly the string broke, so I didn't have the sun anymore, so I had to bring the sun across the stage four times, so the last, um, so, so the, last, <coughs> the last two times, I couldn't bring the sun over, so it taught me that I really had to trust like, the stage crew and everybody. So Maggie, what was a special moment to you? Well, when I first got my part, um, I saw it, and then I started screaming and dancing around in the kitchen. <laughs> I was really happy. Addie, on opening night, how'd you feel? I felt happy and probably energetic because it's like I just started drama and I feel pretty proud of myself and happy and energetic. And Isabel, what's your favorite <laughs> game in drama? 
One of my favorite games in drama was when we told jokes and because we would get a slip of paper and then we would read out the joke on stage and some of the jokes are actually funny and we also had to do actions and the actions could also be funny. So I thought that was maybe one of the funnest moments during drama. It's me again and one of the funniest moments was when one of the backstage people threw a banana and it accidentally went off stage and then King Louie had to signal someone else to go get it and I thought it was really funny. One funny moment that was in the show was when Baloo pulled Shere Khan's tail. It was funny because, like, it just made me laugh. One of my favorite parts in the play was the f when we were first when we first had an audience and when I said my first line. Say now, what have we here? Oh, it's a man cub, a delicious man cub. Who are you? Why I am Ka. Think back to your audition. How did you feel after you finished? Well, I actually felt very happy because I've been wanting the role since I saw the script and then when I saw that I actually got it I actually was screaming yes all around my kitchen while my mom was cooking food. Were you satisfied with your performance? I actually was. No, I mean yeah I was satisfied with my performance because it really shows how much you can do with just a few kids. Marcella Think back to when you found out you were cast in this show and or you found out what role you'd be playing. Did the results match your expectations? Um, well, at first I was a little disappointed with my part because I thought I would get sort of a better part, but then I realized that it was fun, so I, I regretted thinking that I wanted to quit at the beginning. What do you... I, um... Were you happy with your role? I think I already answered that. <laughs> I think you already answered that. Okay. Think back to the first rehearsal. What was the atmosphere like? Did you know everyone in the cast? Were you happy with your role? Why or why not? Um, I did not know everybody. The atmosphere was very strange because basically nobody knew everybody else. Um, I was happy to see everybody get together and just have this giant family that would turn out to be something that people wouldn't think that it would happen. Were you happy? Or what did you do? I really just went along with it because the show must go on, as all the theatrical people say. Hi, and my favorite part of the show is during rehearsal we me and King Louie were practicing me getting up and swinging the leaf and when she pushed me on the time I fell fell down it was just hilarious <laughs> well my favorite part of the show was when at the very end they trapped Shere Khan aka me in a net and threw bananas and everything and like, I like that because since I was Shere Khan, I could see all of my friends going around me, throwing stuff at me, wrapping me around in a net, and I just loved how much effort we put into it. Hi, I'm back, and right now I want to tell you about my favorite part of the show. I really liked at the beginning when we were doing psych, we would all hold hands and just get our energy controlled, and it's so much fun because it's like the only time we get to scream in school. What was one success you felt while practicing or doing the show? One success was um, without like the audience when we first ran through this show, 
Um, it was on production week, and um, I felt like afterwards I was a little nervous that all not all of us got our lines down. But after that first run through, I felt like we can really do this because we pretty got it down the show. So Avery. What was different between opening night and closing night? Opening night was, made me really happy because we finally got through the show in front of an audience for the first time and I was really happy and couldn't take a smile off my face. But at the end of closing night, I was really happy that we did get through the show, but I was sad that it would be the last time that we got through the show. Yeah. Hi, my favorite part of the show was the costumes. I got to contribute a lot to making them because my neighbor was making the costumes, but they were really cool and detailed. Hi, I'm back, and my favorite part of the show was at the end, um, Shere Khan held his tail and he said meow at the end and ran, ran off stage. It was because it was really funny and everyone laughed. Name one thing that you learned during the process of the show. I learned some sign language. I learned tiger, snake, um, elephant, and the, oh yeah, and bear. Name one memory from the show that will stick with you forever. Well, I really, I really am going to miss my family, my drama family. So I think the memory of everyone there and having fun together and it all coming together like magic is going to be my memory. Think about just before closing night, how did you feel? Was it different between opening and closing night? Yeah, I think just, just before closing night, I was like so hyped up and I was so excited to see everybody again for this one last show and I was sure this would be our best. Yeah. Opening night, I was a little bit more <laughs> nervous than excited. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do before the show is the pull, pass the pulse because it makes everybody focus even though they're super excited and have <laughs> so much energy. Hi, me again. So my favorite action in the performance was when I threw a banana from off stage and it fell right off the stage into the audience. Everybody thought it was part of the script and everybody laughed hysterically. A moment that I had to get over in my fear was when we were right on stage and it was my turn to say my line and I was so freaked out because I was right there, right in front of the audience and there was like so many people and it was so scary but I said it and then I felt so good afterwards like it's done, I did it. I'm